Hi friends. Today, let's talk about the top 10 ways to save money on groceries. Number one, make a shopping list and bring it with you. When I go without a shopping list, I always forget one or two items. And then I go back to the store and spend more money buying stuff that I really didn't need. Number two, don't shop more than once a week. That's why your grocery list is so important to bring with you. The more you go, the more tempting the sales and the pretty colorful items will be to your eyes. And pretty soon your cart will be filled with stuff you don't need. And if you're always bringing your kids, well, you better bet they're gonna give you pressure to buy everything in the store. Number three, and this is actually the most important. Make a meal plan for two weeks, not one, but two weeks. And here's why. I like to spend my time efficiently. So when I'm in the meal planning mode, I just do that. And if you make it for two weeks, you can take advantage of the sales. Now, also, if you are looking for specialty ingredients, then you have more time to wait for that sale. Plus, you're gonna have more freedom to skip ingredients because you have other options and not feel that pressure. Number four. Avoid shopping hungry. Feed yourself and your kids before you go to the store. Don't forget to talk to your kids in the car and tell them the rules of shopping. Tell them that you can't afford to buy anything that's not on your shopping list. And actually, I would show them your shopping list. Maybe have them write the list down again. That's really good practice for writing. And give them a notebook and pen to write down the price of items in the store. It's like a scavenger hunt. They love scavenger hunts. It's also good math and writing. Have them add up the total. You can have them learn to round prices out. And if they behave, reward them with scanning your groceries. They all love scanning groceries. And this way, your reward is an activity and not food. Number five, buy generic brands. I know it's hard to go without your favorite brand names, but I've realized it's really not worth the extra money. They usually aren't higher in quality. Number six, check out what's on sale at home to plan your meals and to make your shopping list. And this way you're not surprised at the store. Involve your kids with this planning. It's really good math and thinking and it's just practical skills for meal prepping and budgeting. And if you make them part of your meal prepping, they'll be more inclined to eat your food. Let's face it, if you don't teach them about nutrition and budgeting, who will? Number seven, buy bulk wisely. Bulk may not always save you money. Many people think that they're saving money when they shop at Costco or at Sam's Club, but they end up buying the wrong bulk junk food or non-perishable things that take a really long time to use and that money could be used elsewhere. Hence, it's important to make a shopping list. However, if you do buy dried beans and grains in bulk, they are often cheaper than if you buy pre-packaged items or even canned ones. And they're definitely cheaper than ready-made meals. Dried beans are like a dollar a pound. Beans are a rich source of quality protein and fiber. And that brings us to number eight, limit convenient foods. Now, once I wanted watermelon and I went to the store and I was busy, so I wanted to buy a pre-cut watermelon. That thing was like $7. And then I turned around and looked at the whole watermelon uncut well that thing was like five dollars so that's the problem convenient foods are just more expensive and even my favorite fruit watermelon i just couldn't pay seven dollars for like a little cup that would barely give me a few bites watermelon is healthy it's hydrating it has citrulline and it makes me not crave for chocolate bars and junk foods but it's probably worth the seven dollars but i really can't get myself to spend that kind of money. And so this is where TV dinners and ready-made meals and snacks, they're just gonna be more expensive because there's so much effort to make them. But they're also taxing your health full of fat and salt. But not all convenient foods are bad, like canned beans are pretty cheap and relatively healthy if you get unflavored, unsalted ones. I have tons of them around for an emergency. And my favorite thing to do is rinse a canned bean and then lightly toast them to dehydrate them and then I sprinkle spices on. They are fun and delicious to snack on. And number nine, shop seasonal. No, I like watermelon, but that's really a summer fruit. So when I buy it off season, it's expensive, it tastes bad, and I usually end up throwing a lot of it away. What a waste of money. Seasonal items just taste better. They're more nutritious. 
and they're much cheaper. And number 10, compare prices. A lot of times I realize packaging can be deceptive and they make it look like there's a lot, but then there's a giant hole underneath. Now this is also true for fresh produce. So now I always check the weight and you'll save more money if you keep your foods whole. Now, if you wanna know which foods to buy, check out my next video.